All right, I'm 22, weekly update. Haven't done one in a while, but, uh, wow, that's a ledge, isn't it? Uh, maybe not, but uh, anyway, I'm here. Uh, just got back from Interbike. Uh, haven't done one of these in a while, which honestly pretty much is just because of the fact that sometimes, you know, I just get sick of fucking listening to myself talk. I was sick of doing one of these a week. Given the fact that I'm already doing two podcasts a week, it just seemed a little tough to keep on top of, but you know, I'm going to try to actually like stay more on top of it because I hate launching, you know, a series online and then not actually like staying consistent with it. So here I am. I'm back. Uh, just got back from Interbike. I didn't go last year because last year there was no Nora Cup, and so that seemed like there was probably no real reason to go. Nora Cup being kind of the reason to go to Interbike because, you know, an award show is pretty cool, whereas walking around, looking at bike parts in a convention center or whatever it is, a trade show, doesn't really seem that dope. So I uh, went this year, tried to avoid the actual trade show as much as possible. I get, like, fucking total anxiety from, like, having to be in this weird situation where it's kind of like everybody knows me and I don't really know most of the people, but I've kind of, like, met a large percentage of them and don't remember them or don't really, like, have any reason that I should remember them, but I'm just pretty much feel like I walk in there and everybody's just looking at me and it just makes me feel fucking weird. But I was lucky that I actually was with... Adam LZ, Xavier, and Stevie, so that, that helped to, like, you know, change some of that dynamic, since all those guys are, uh, ridiculously, uh, harass everywhere that we go, and somewhere like Vegas during Interbike, you know, they were, they were getting it, like, worse than I was, so, Nora Cup was pretty sick, I guess that's, like, the main thing that I should probably report on, um, interesting things that I saw at Nora Cup, well, I saw Dakota win Street Rider of the Year, I was pretty hyped on that, just because I felt like he kind of, kind of had it coming, you know, Garrett's won a a few years in a row, many years in a row, and Dakota, if you think about it, he put up, I'm pretty sure, two banging web videos and a crazy video part this year, so, and I mean, he's, he's late in his career as well, not late, but, you know, he's like in his late 20s, so it's not exactly, you know, he's not a spring chicken, he's still putting in this much work, I mean, it gets harder as you get older, your body starts to hurt more, whatever, Uh, I know that in the past, I've heard Dak express some doubts about uh how long he was going to be able to keep doing this just because of the fucking toll it was taking on his body so i think that for somebody like him winning street rider of the year i think garrett's probably totally used to it and i think dakota's probably not dakota probably really appreciated it so i thought that was pretty cool i called above below winning definitely thought that they were going to win that one even though i thought that the shadow and the volume video was really good too but i just had a very strong feeling that they were going to take that one down uh I saw Glenn Salyers win the Reader's Choice, which I thought was pretty sick that uh, a lot of his fans and a lot of people who who cared about Glenn during his life and and even now that they came together and voted for him. So I thought that was pretty sick. Um, Yeah. And, oh, yeah, speaking of Bubble Below, above Below, shout out to Rich Form because he actually, he really thought that I had uh, hired prostitutes to come with me to Norica because of these two broads who kind of like, they knew about where I was going from Twitter. They're like, I, I don't want to call them Twitter fans, but they knew about me through Twitter. And then they just showed up. And at first I was trying to like pass one of them off to one of my friends. I was like, yo, go with them, go with them. And then I, it soon became clear to me that they were both interested in me. So I think that they actually dragged me out of there before the fucking show was even hundred percent done. And so I just went back to my place and everybody thinks that I was doing all these crazy drugs and stuff. It's actually not true. I can't control the girls around me doing drugs, but, uh, I was not, I wasn't even really in any kind of crazy state of mind aside from the fact that I, you know, smoked a million blunts and drank a bunch, which when you consider that I was in Vegas for Interbike, it seems pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, I couldn't help but Snapchat a little bit of it. I wanted to show the kids a little bit of a sneak peek of like what, what this lifestyle could get you if you, uh, if you work hard and everything. So, yeah, Interbike, you know, it was pretty cool. We had the big rig jam. Uh, so a lot of people came through and saw that, and a lot of good riding went down. Dylan Stark ended up winning the whole thing. Xavier Wolf had to dip out the day before it because he had to go to Miami to play a show. Um, what else? Um, been working really hard on the podcast type of thing. Uh, the come up, we did Alfredo last week. We did Kareem the week before that. This week... I, we don't currently have a podcast lined up, but we're recording Dan Crook and Morgan Long on Wednesday, I'm told. Uh, Scott Marceau helped uh, set that up. And then um, 
there's a few other ones that we're working on. We're going to do another one with a common crew, uh, this time featuring uh, one of their, their many affiliates. Uh, Austin Augie is going to come on, and we're going to get some of his story. Uh, but besides them, when Catfish gets here, so this is Monday, like next Monday, we're going to be going hard with Catfish, trying to just get a bunch of fo- sort of old school podcasts done. Uh, I like having Catfish around when we interview someone who's a little bit older or who's been in the game longer because Catfish has like a more a more well-rounded perspective on that. You know, I didn't start riding until the late 90s. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to get as many G's as possible in there. And uh, also, I, I, I do have to mention my other podcast, No Jumper. If you want to do me a huge favor, you can go to uh, SoundCloud and search No Jumper and then give us a follow. Click the little heart button on all our stuff. Uh, or if you even just wanted to um, go to Google and type in No Jumper SoundCloud. Uh, you could type in No Jumper SoundCloud. You could type in No Jumper iTunes. You could go to the No Jumper YouTube. Anything to help us get our stats up, appreciate it. That would be great. Um, but in terms of No Jumper episodes, last week we dropped a really good one with Nick Coletti. Actually, I wouldn't say it was really good because Nick uh, he didn't end up talking as much as I maybe expected. But Nick is a fucking hilarious guy, and there was definitely some good stuff. And we also had Alex and Serp from Ain't Nobody Cool on there, and they're fucking dope. And so the the one actually right before that was the Ian Connor episode, where uh, Ian Connor and Shane Gonzalez of uh, Midnight Studios, they came through. And that one did really well. It's like over 100,000 views in total, I think, between the SoundCloud, the iTunes, and the YouTube. So that's pretty sick to get 100,000 views uh, considering it's only like our eighth uh, non-BMX podcast or whatever. And that was really kind of an honor from my perspective, just because I'm completely aware of the influence that uh, that Ian has on our society, on our culture. And Shane as well, really. Like, they're both fucking, even if you don't know who they are, the, the stuff that they do and the things that they've been involved with are absolutely unbelievable. So I would, uh, I would advise you to go check that one out if you didn't see it. And then also... We did a great one with Jacob Messix, who is a skateboard photographer. Uh, he's 20 years old, insanely young, and he's got a full staff photographer job at uh, the Skateboard Mag, which is one of the most respected skateboard magazines. And we did a dope ass uh, interview with him and his boy Oscar. And Oscar just recently got dropped by Flip for various reasons, so we got to talk to him all about that. And I had Justin Maruco as my uh, co-host, who you might remember from the Jake Seely podcast, and that was really cool. Um, just to be able to do a skate podcast and for them to be so excited about it and stuff was was dope. Like my idea with No Jumper is just to have it be very well rounded, very um, you know, give you a little bit of everything in terms of like overall culture, like. That's why I think it's important that we have fashion dudes and that we have rappers and that we have, you know, people who work in the skate world or pro skateboarders or, uh, you know, I've even had tattoo artists and everything like that. Like, No Jumper is really, like, my attempt at creating, like, a very well-rounded podcast. And I don't know where it's necessarily going to go in the future in the sense that, like, I don't know what... If at one point we will start to, like, hone in on more of one specific topic, but I hope not. I hope that we keep it just super, super well-rounded because honestly, I think that that's, I don't know. I think that's kind of what makes it unique is just that we have a a very wide variety of people, but yeah, uh, check us out on SoundCloud, no jumper. I'd listen to it while you're driving, something like that. That'd be cool. But yeah, what else do I have to talk about? Well, me personally, I've just been riding a shitload like every day. I don't know. I, I, I've been working really hard filming for this, uh, this web video that I'm making it myself, I have like a minute and a half of footage and I'm trying to get to like maybe three or something, three minutes perhaps. So I'm just trying to get, you know, a bunch more, uh, a bunch more footage of myself. I've got all these tricks I want to do yesterday. Me and Scott went to this one ledge, ripped a bunch of fucking stoppers out of it and finally made it rideable again. And then, uh, fa- failed to get our clips, proceeded to try and completely fail at getting clips. So, we tried, but, you know, I've just been working on it. We've actually got a crazy crew in town right now. we got Dylan Lloyd is back. Mikey Tyra is here. He's been here for a couple months, and he's probably going to stay for another couple months working on uh, some, some video stuff. Uh, Dylan Lloyd's been killing it. He's working on some video stuff. But Brandon Began, Stevie, and then um, Ed Zunda was uh, fucking... Oh, that was pretty close. Uh, Ed Zunda was, is here, and he's here for, like, another three days. So that's been dope. Ed's an amazing rider, and it's been really good just rolling around K-Town with him and doing all kinds of stuff. And then um, the other thing that, oh, yeah, is that I've just been riding a lot just by myself. Like I've just been pedaling, like, 
for three, four hours in a day because I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like motivated to get back into shape. Like, I don't know if anybody out there really real, realizes this or remembers this, but like back in the day when I started to come up, I was really into lifting weights, used to lift weights all the time, used to, you know, do cardio and just exercise all the time and stuff like that. And then that has like fully not been a part of my life at all for the past couple of years, ever since I opened the OSS store. And I actually weighed myself in Vegas, and I still weigh the fucking same that I weighed before I stopped working out, but I don't feel as healthy, and I'm just trying to get, like, more back into the, the zone of just working out more and eating healthier and all that kind of stuff. Wow, look at her. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, she, so, she, so, yeah, I've just been trying to, like, exercise more and just, you know, eat better and stuff, but one of the things about that is that I hate exercising for the most part. Like, I don't really like lifting weights anymore. I don't really like going running. Oh, that's a ledge over there. Interesting. But uh, I don't really like doing all that stuff. So so basically what I've been doing is I have this app called Map My Run. And then I'll, I'll turn it on and just put on music or put on podcasts or whatever. And then I'll just go out into L.A. and just pedal as far as I can in different directions. Just trying to, you know... I'm not really trying to do anything. I'm not trying to, like, get anywhere in particular. I'm just pedaling because I just want to, like, look at spots and just get some exercise and stuff like that, and I, it really kind of made me realize, like, that things have come full circle in a sense, because I don't, you know, I always love that part about riding, it's just the actual riding, the actual, like, oh, I'm gonna go out and fucking be just in the city for a whole day, and just be out riding, and in California, you know, you do a lot more, um, a lot more just going out in the van, going to the skate park, it's a, it's a different lifestyle riding-wise, but you know, I'm pretty happy with, like, actually just going out and riding by myself a shitload more, so I've been doing that a lot, um, and just working on this video part, and I've just been trying to stay really consistent with doing one TCU TV episode every week, plus one, uh, no jumper episode per week, and with no jumper, it might even start to get into two episodes a week, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like there's a lot more ground to cover in terms of, like, everything else outside of BMX, so there's a lot of different rappers and clothing designers and different people that I've been uh, talking to about doing episodes, and we might even start switching the format up a little bit more, even, and doing some, like, reviews or just something, I don't know. No Jumper is really just, like, a fun side project, but, yeah, it was dope having uh, Xavier Wolf out there and everybody, too. It was pretty fucking crazy seeing how many people really reacted to him, and, I mean, I've said it a million times, but... You know, like it or not, he's blown up. His music has taken off like crazy. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to be there when we do the Healthy Boys podcast on Tuesday. So uh, you might want to tune in. You're going to get some some Xavier Wolf insight into uh, the minds of Eddie Baker and Chili Sosa and the rest of the the IE's most violent criminal organization, the Healthy Boys. Just kidding. They're actually really nice guys. Um, But, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about all the stuff that I got coming up this week. It's hard to think of anything real bad to say. I mean, I'm just chugging along, working hard, trying to keep the podcast going, trying to, like, actually get more stuff made for the TCU YouTube, uh, yeah, and I don't know, the Future and Drake album just came out, and I haven't listened to it yet, so I feel kind of guilty that I can't give you guys my thoughts on that, but, uh, almost no chance that it's gonna be whack, so, wouldn't be too worried about it, so my advice to all you kids out there, get out there in the streets, do some Switch Smith grinds, uh, throwing some rap tunes in the headphones and just, you know, the, the older I get, the more I start to really just think about the fact that the most important thing is just to accept who you are and what you are doing with your time. So, I mean, if you're a BMX dude, just enjoy the fucking time you've got on your bike, whether you're out riding in the streets or riding the skate park. I mean, that's all I got to say is just enjoy it while it lasts because, We've lost a lot of good soldiers this year, and uh, not everybody not everybody makes the most of their time that they have while they're here. And if you look at, like, a lot of the dudes who passed away this year, rest in peace Joe McIntyre, rest in peace Glenn Sayers, and everybody else, I mean, a lot of those dudes, the reason why we're sitting here having conversations about them after they were gone is because those were dudes that got up off their ass and actually rode and actually put in work. So... That's my advice to you. Get off your ass and put in some fucking work. Even if you suck at riding like me, do your version of putting in some work. You know, get out there in the streets and fucking do something. Whatever. What's this? 
We're out here in the mean streets of downtown LA, me and Scott Marceau, cruising around with Tate Ross, Kelly, Riley, and Brandon Began. Gonna be trying to find some uh, interesting spots. Tate Ross, Kelly don't want no stock shit. Ooh, I can already see him eyeing up this strange roof over here. Let's go, uh, let's go investigate.